Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. We are helping Liara try and figure out who to kill. I know, weird, isn't it? Uh, Turian contact working well with the traitor. Observer has rescued, has rescinded kill order against him. Uh, the Salarian traitor. Okay. Uh, given difficulty in securing contract with traitor through other methods. So in other words, she she's not going to kill him because it's too hard to find another one. Fair enough. Do you have anything flashier? Anything flashier. Alright, um... I own this world. I you... 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 And you. Uh, okay, da, 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 data point three. Turian asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing assassin or Solarian contact. <laughs> wow, this observer is all for murdering people. Okay, down here we go. I remember, if I remember correctly, the last terminal is in here. Oh hey, look. We'll figure something out. Stop worrying. Stop. It's okay. I'll think of something. You said synthetic insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? <laughs> Free your slave now. I need you to let that slave go. Now. We prefer the term indentured servant. And I know that Batarian slavers have made humans understandably prejudiced against slavery. Before you do anything hasty, know that this Quarian signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the Quarian, convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract. Why did this Quarian sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan to get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. Uh-huh. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the quarry? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. So hold why on. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. I run at a minor House and feed? You sound like they're a pet. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So, what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. S-O-L, dear. S-O-L. Uh... So slavery is legal on Ilium? Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. I got that. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. But I'm going to free her. I'm going to take me off to a mine somewhere. Right, but if I free her... Uh, oh, never mind. I don't want to spend that much money on you anyway. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. Sure, sure. Slaver. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. Is he still trying? Do that. 
Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat. Oh, dude, give it up. She is not into you. You're her friend. You're never gonna get into her. Uh, what? What do you guys wear? Underwear, panties, enviro suits, whatever it is. He's not getting into them. Can I help you with something? <laughs> Would you like a Quarian? <laughs> I know a slaver who'd like to sell you the service contract for a Quarian programmer. Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. You're a prejudiced, or it would be good for business. Let's go with the blue. It sounds like Synthetic Insights is worried about its reputation. Hiring this quarry would help. Buying a slave helps our reputation. How exactly do you figure? Purchase the contract, minus the fee for early emancipation, then free the quarrying and garnish wages for reimbursement. I know the migrant fleet would be grateful, and more likely to make purchases from you. Interesting. We look good for hiring a quarrying, and we can say that we freed slaves out of the goodness of our hearts. All right, I'll run up a contract. The board might wet its pants, but we could use the good publicity. This quarrying had better be good, though. Yeah, it's our shepherd solving problems all over the world. He's like the world's janitor, really. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Thank you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Oh, look at me go. I'm so cool. If you're for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a bit or something. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't going to kill me. We could watch Fleet and Flotilla. Anyway, if worse comes to worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program built into my suit. And I hear that the love scenes are... Dude, you just seep desperate. Oh, yeah. Standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh, here. Let me fire it up. Uh, excuse me, human. Private conversation. Ugh. A little space, please. I'm sorry. Hey, Tali. You got one of those? You know? In your suit? You... you ah, never mind. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I was gonna... The, Oh, you know what? We've never talked to the bartender. Hey, bartender. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. Oh, I would love to that see that. the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. Ah, T gone. Fought in the Krogan Not good. Alliance. I've pretty much seen it all. I shall have to fix this. Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. <laughs> you said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. Hey, I have an ass. If I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world. And Hell, Shepard is an ass. A queen and a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about his getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. Uh -huh. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. 
Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Huh. <laughs> well, it saves you a tough decision, right? Uh, da, 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 da. working in a bar. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Good for you. Way to stand up for the blue on your ass. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You'll find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone hey. else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Hey, wait, wait, wait a second. Liara is a pure-blooded daughter who doesn't know her father. Hey, what was the name of your daughter? Uh, is that an option? No? That's not an... Oh. Wow. That would be... Thanks for telling me about that. Creepy. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? I'd like something to drink. I want to get wasted. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. One saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Huh. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. I wonder if she's Liara's mom. Wouldn't that be interesting? Uh, let's see. Shot of liquor, glass of wine, mystery drink. Oh, come on, folks. You know what I'm going for. Why is Gareth standing over there? <laughs> I don't want to be anywhere near you when you touch that drink. <laughs> Alright, folks. Hang on. I gotta end this episode here. Thank you for watching. Let's play Mass Effect 2 and join me next time.